It's time for another adventure. This is called microscopy. What is that big word? It just means we're gonna use a microscope and we are going to look at things that we cannot see with our natural eye. I am very excited to introduce this to you. Some of you may have already used microscopes and some of you for the very first time are going to get to use them. All right, we're gonna talk about the anatomy of the microscope. And in doing that, we are gonna go from top to bottom. So starting with the very top, the eyepiece. This eyepiece on this microscope is magnified 10 times and it is a removable eyepiece. We have the body tube, which in this microscope is here. We have the arm. This is the arm that leads to the base. The base holds it all together. All right, so now let's talk about some of the different parts. We have our light source, it's here. Uh, there, this one is adjustable, so I can turn the light way down or way up. And as I'm looking at the specimen, I can also use the diaphragm, which is this little lever right here, to increase or decrease the light that is showing through as I'm examining the specimen. Then, in order to actually see a specimen, you gotta have one on the stage. And the stage is this piece right here. It is where the show happens. And we have an amazing clip. On this microscope, there's just one, and it will clip the slide into place like so. So you can see that my slide is on the stage, it's clipped in. Now I can use these stage adjustment knobs here to move the stage so that my specimen can be inside the view of the lens where I wanna look. This one will move my specimen forward and back. And this one will move the specimen from left to right. So as I find my specimen here, like that, I'm ready to go. And then we have our revolving nose piece right here. This is the part that allows our objectives, which are each one of these different lenses, to be rotated as we are increasing magnification or decreasing magnification. Okay, let's talk about what are you gonna see? How many times magnification do we have? How do you calculate magnification? How do I know where to start? Okay, let's answer those questions. So magnification is calculated by the magnification in the eyepiece times the magnification in the objective. So let's talk about that. I'm going to turn this so you can see it. This is our low power objective. It is standard in science with a red ring. This is four times magnification. And I told you this is 10 times. So 10 times four is 40 times magnification. So when I begin, I'm gonna begin on 40 times magnification. Then as I get that into focus, nice focus, then I will be able to go to the next ring, which is the yellow ring. And this is 10 times magnification. So 10 times 10, 100. We have 100 times magnification. Get it in nice focus. Then we can go to the blue objective, blue ringed objective, which is 40 times. 40 times 10 is 400 times. Now, if you have an advanced microscope, you might have this white ring objective. This is 100 times magnification, but it is a special oil immersion lens that you will not use a slide cover with. It actually goes in the oil on the lens. And so 100 times 10 is gonna be 1,000 times magnification. Then we have what we are going to be using to bring our specimen into focus. We have our course adjustment knob. This only gets used on low power with the low power setting. And then we have our 
fine adjustment knob. And that is for anything higher than low power because it moves the stage in very small increments so that you don't damage your lens or break your glass slide. Let's talk about how to handle the microscope. This information can be found in your safety manual, in your binder. Most often, you may come into class and the microscope is sitting on a shelf. It's got its cord hopefully nicely wrapped up. You wanna make sure that that's, it, that's out of the way when you pick it up. When you pick up a microscope, you are gonna pick it up by the arm and hand under the base. It's always two hands um, on the microscope. And also, just as I demonstrated with this one, you wanna hold it upright because the eyepiece might fall out. Okay, so how do you get it kind of going, get it set up? Well, you wanna take the, wrap the cord. The, depending on the light source, the light source could get hot. And so you don't wanna melt your cord, so you wanna take that all the way off when you are plugging it in and unplugging it, you want to firmly grasp the cord. All right, so we've got our microscope here. Now let's talk about, let's just get it ready to use. We'll turn on our light. Then we're gonna take a look at the lenses. We're gonna take a look if things are clean. It's ready to go. If your lenses, if you, if you kind of look in there and it's all smudgy, you feel like you need to have the lenses be cleaned, you only use the special lens paper, um, optical lens paper that your teacher or your instructor will have. And so you just gently use that to clean the lenses, get the dust off. And then as you clean each objective, it's just a little wipe underneath the objective there. All right, we're gonna be in good shape. Okay, so we've got our microscope, it's here, it's turned on, our lenses are clean. Now let's talk about a few other things that you need to make sure are ready to go. The fine adjustment right here. This is where I have found my students have terrible problems when they want to go all the way up to high power, they're not able to focus it because somebody that used the microscope before them has got this off. It's been used to adjust it and then it needs to be returned to being in the middle. Here we go. So you wanna make sure that the metal on both sides is pretty much as even as you can visually see it and that's going to allow you to get a great focus on high power. If it's off centered and you cannot focus on high power, just remember if you're trying to focus it on high power and you can't, check this and then start again with low power and go through the process. Okay, so you've got all the basics. You've seen the parts. You've seen the parts move. You know how to calculate magnification. And now let's just go over the last few particulars um, where you start. So when you set up this, get this started, you wanna make sure that your stage is all the way down away from the objectives. You wanna put your microscope slide in place and use the stage adjustments to move that specimen in the light so that it can be seen, so that it can be seen being magnified. And you are on the red ring, which is the low power objective. Now, we're gonna be on to how to set up those slides. I hope you enjoyed your orientation to your new microscope.